You're loved. I'm Kim. And Flash is dying. <laughs> Flash is going away. And there's going to be nothing left for us to enjoy anymore. All the memories, everything. But since it's going away at the end of the year, we still have a little bit of time. We have a little time. And I present to you one of my very fond memories of Crush the Castle 2. Browser games, flash games, were my start, my introduction to gaming, video gaming, because we had a family computer that everyone could use and we had like, I don't know, half an hour or an hour to use every day. And obviously I didn't know I could download games, or even I couldn't download games. Um, and probably wouldn't have been allowed, but I was able to play browser games. Especially Miniclip is something that I remember very fondly, and I will try some games from Miniclip, but this is one of them. Crush the Castle 2. And I just... I don't ever remember reading this. The destruction and capture of Arcturia did little to satisfy the Redvonian king, and it was not long before he needed more castles to crush. Rumor has it that King Glutius, rival ruler of distant lands, had mustered his fiefdoms, established new and even sturdier castles in a cluster of islands known only as Christania. These castles were remote to be so strong that they could survive in the worst Redvonian attacks. The king has sent you, his trustworthy siege master, and Halgrim, his finest mason, to assemble the greatest mines in the land to destroy Blush's empire. The first to find was Corman, a devilish engineer who is rumored to have captured the power of the mysterious black powder from the east. The second, Muriel the Great, was a hermit wizard set to harness all the, the, the power of the elements. Only with this great mind shall Blucius Empire lay in ruins. Go forth, cross the castles of Blucius, and with them its people. Halgrim the Mason. I didn't ask for this lad. The burly Mason grumbled as he looked. Is it Mason? Mason. I don't know. As he loaded his great of shaped rocks, logs, and steel onto the carriage. Scootin' about the place, flinging things at others' weak castles. I just want a small place I can be making my own things. Your skills are of great use, Hulgrim, the siege master assured him. Aye, but my round stones be for my art, not your smashing. Yes. Uh, Betsonian Island, between the Gulf of Christiania, the, the Betsonian ocean and and um aha Halgrim has given you a wood log we oui, thanks that's right you're getting a log to start no complaining now I've got more coming I'm sorry I'm so sorry for the accent it's an imaginary accent it's 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 not an imat I don't know I'm sorry for the accent I'm sorry but I remember loving this partly because of the, uh, I guess, the sort of physics. And the sense of accomplishment, obviously, but sort of, you get sort of a sense of, I don't know physics, is it momentum, when to let go to hit a certain part. Ah, yes. Murder. I didn't play it for the murder, no. Halgrim has given you three wooden logs. More is better, right? Now you'll be tossing triple the rocks for triple the power. Nope. Um. I was gonna 
about saying what was I about to say something I don't remember also the death here is not so um, violent I suppose just a lot of a lot of blood you know N no Obviously, I always wanted to one-shot everything. Even if it was something that required two shots, I would try to one-shot it. Um, for the sense of accomplishment and... Because it's... Halkrim has given you stone. Cook me my mother-in-law's fruit cake for all I know. The... Sort of seeing things unfold. Like like this when it now collap collapses to both sides killing everyone uh, cut cut that since uh, seeing uh, things unfold like this now collapsing to both sides killing everyone nice oh and then just I guess mechanics um, do its things unless it gets stuck there, which it does every time. Every time. I, I guess not. Again, not. Mm. Uh huh. Repetition. The mother of traits. Okay, there we go. And then a boop. Also, it's not the stone that kill, kills them. It's when they fall over, apparently. Halgrim has given you three stones. Ah, more stone. Nothing beats a wee bit more lo rock miller. I truly apologize for the accent. I don't know why I keep doing this, because it's not... Because it's not as good, it, it, mm. Okay. No, there, uh, and, mm. Great. Ah, yes. The tar. That doesn't fall when it's unbalanced. Ah, yes. The tar. There you go. Nice. Steel. An iron shell. An iron shell will obliterate everything in its path. Assuming you know what to do with it. Uh-huh. Nice. And a little wooden cabbing. A little piggy and the wool wolves. Ah. Three iron shells. Well, you know the thrill. I'm giving you triple the firepower. Dang! See, then you keep doing this and you get used to letting it go at a certain time and then that's the wrong time. I feel like if I had brain power, I, I could have some sort of... No! No! That's close! No, no! <laughs> Why is it that in, in games... Again, again, games like these, uh, death doesn't feel so horrible. It's probably because the characters are so obviously not real. There are 
2D models of... See, then you just get into a habit and can't get out of it. Except if you go too far. And then you're out of it. And you have to get it with one shot, believe me. That was going too low anyway. Then you start to see when you made the mistake or already when thrown the rocks. Except um, sometimes you predict a mistake when you haven't made a mistake and restart it just for the sake of it. There you go. Ooh, a big tar. Let's see if... if... Aha, 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 close. Except, whoop. Tip over. Tip over. There you go. See, that's the fun in these games, the physics, or the at least some level of simulation of the physics. I don't know physics, so I don't know if this is good physics. Uh, I didn't study a lot of physics. <sighs> Not enough, is it then? Do I need to aim lower, lo lower, no, because that... We're met with the same problem. So we should, now we could use the bunched up version that... Ah, there we go. Whew. Do I not get a fanfare? I don't get a fanfare. You guys get a fanfare. <laughs> there you go. Sighting what looked like bombs floating down the distance, the siege master knew that the king's engineer was close by. The sound of explosions rang out as they drew nearer. It was not long before Corman noticed their presence. Oh, how there! He shouted, seemingly def def deafened by his explosive devices. The king has requested your aid, the siege must abruptly ordered. With that, he motioned to his guards to grab the short statued man and put, put him on the. Put, put him on the cart! There you go. And we go to the wilds. Ah, yes. Kormin has given you a bomb. Greetings, sir. Nothing like a bit of BOOM to rock these foundations, eh? Sure. Let's try and... No. No. Okay. Do I need to hit it lower? Or do I not need to hit it at all? <gasps> okay, what if I just hit the tower itself? Or not, you know, I could also not. I could... Oh. Yeah, no. Wait, can I... Okay, how many kings are there in this land? Uh, you know, I love the disassembly, the destruction, the, the physics of that. I don't love the killing. But it doesn't feel like killing because... or, or it, 2D characters that just explode in video games, mm, you know. See, in these where it has two shots as a requirement, I still want to do it with one shot, so I'll try. And fail. Which is when I'll try again, the different tactic, which fails even more. Ah, maybe that? King! I almost one-shot it then. I don't know if I can leave it two shots, even though I will get a gold medal for it, but I... Mm, I didn't even do it. Beautiful! 
one shot. I'm not an over at I'm not an overachiever per se. I'm just very When I do something, I want to do it the best I can. And I guess in this case, the best I can is more than the requirement. And I guess, and I guess, um, I swear I had a thought. There. I don't, yes, overachiever. Four shots. <laughs> you know what, I... I want to try with one, but I can't yet. Not with these weapons. Oh, I've messed this up. Big shot. I'm an idealist. I'm somewhat of a perfectionist, I guess. I feel like I need to do the best I can for others sake. Even if it costs me energy, money, or mental health, I feel like I need to be held accountable for the well being of everyone. I feel like I want to solve all the problems in the world. Which is very unfortunate because it's impossible for me to do. I want everyone just to have a good time. Which is not possible yet. In, in such a position as the world is. And sometimes I feel oh, well, well, oh, oh, oh. Sometimes I feel overwhelmed. By the fact that I can't solve everything. I, I, and I can't even be of help in everything. I can be helpful in some things. And hopefully at least make a few people's lives better. But just... It sometimes is very difficult to accept that I don't and I can't have all the answers. But that's just life and that's just my personality and I try to work on that because that's not sustainable. And not, of course, not only the problems of people today, but also the problems of people, of, of future generations. I'd love if I could help. But there isn't a ton I can do. There you go. This is fun. When you hit them, because you can sort of... Again, physics. You can physics when it's moving back. You can sort of now launch another one which should hit it when it's falling. Or then it just gets stuck there. I have no idea how it's keeping hold. Nope. But sure. Give it a third whiff and... There we go. A timed fuse bomb. You'll be waiting on this one, sire. It's got a long fuse on it. Use it to time your shots. Okay. Not there. 
Also, I remember replaying this. It's always the same bird song every time you start. It gets a little annoying sometimes. On each level. And then if you start it over, the seagull starts doing its thing again. I mean, I guess that worked too. Ah, oh, yes. Did I? Yeah, I need to shoot it farther so that it hits the wall and gets some speed. Nice. The Wilhelm screen. I have mixed feelings about the Wilhelm scream. Um, I love it as a trope, as a cultural reference and 20,000 Hertz a podcast about all things audio, or at least famous sounds, has made an episode on, 20, on Wilhelm scream. I haven't listened to it, I think yet but I will words but um, films that are I'm very emotionally attached to like the Lord of the Rings I don't know about how I feel about using it in the Battle of Helm's Deeps for example because those films and the world just hold so much emotional value to me so that then Wilhelm screams can sort of take me out of the story, the feeling, the moment, the world, before I can put myself back into it. Because it, the Wilhelm scream sort of reminds me that there is other things, there's other media, there's ev ev something else in the world than Lord of the Rings, which <laughs> at times is true. But in the moment, I don't know if... Hmm. But you know, it's a fun nod to... Everything. A parachute bomb. Wife won't be missing the apron, hopefully. <laughs> but here's a parachute bomb. <laughs> Great for those precise shots. Okay. Satisfying. Impending doom. Ooh. I remember always clicking it too early, so now I try to compensate for that. And they fall, and they fall. Oh. Yeah, that was too early. That was too early. Isn't that just... Okay, no. I thought it was going to hit the tower, but apparently not. That's a lot of stone. A remote bomb. These ones won't blow unless you give them the same to. I love stacking it up for a real show. Okay. Bubbling lava. Bonk, bonk. And then a little lower bonk. No, that's too high. Yeah, no. That's too low. There's a balance that I'm not hitting. There's a... There's a... There's a cake that I'm not eating. There's a... There's a... Coffee. That I'm finally drinking. There you go. I just need to 
tip it over. I guess I, I, I guess I just need to tip it over. Tip it over! There you go. And a one, and a two, and a three. That's a... That's neither. That's not a middle or a bottom. Well, that's the top. The king is apparently the top. And, um, another middle. Well, why don't you go down and... No. Except if... No, then. Okay. Let's try again. There you go. Then the top. That's not the top. That's the middle. And then the top. And that's the middle. And there you go. No. That's the top. That's the middle. And that's the bottom. That's the bottom. Roll over. Okay. Or fall. You were so close. You almost did it. You didn't. I have to get it in three shots. I'm sorry. To be honest, I don't know if I'm a completionist per se. No one? No one. Because I have so many games that I've started. But haven't fully completed. And some games that I've started and loved and, well, The Witcher 3, I've started it. I loved it. But I'm not very far in it. <laughs> and something like Skyrim. They feel such big hurdles to me, I guess. Um, because it takes a very commitment and I don't feel like I have th that much time. Even though I, I imagine if I didn't watch YouTube that much, then I would have time to do it, but I don't know, man, I need my daily content. I need my daily spadicey. Well, not daily if if he doesn't want to. But I need my sweet, sweet content from Sean, from Mark. This is just the thing that the thing can break with two bombs, but not with one, and that's why two shots is of. No! What about. But what about with a triple bomb? <laughs> no. Not with a triple bomb. No. Oh. Fine. Fine. I'll do it myself. That's too high. Fine. Fine. I'll do it myself. That's too high. Fine. Fine. I'll do it myself. That's too low. Fine. 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 I'll do it myself. Fine. 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 Why are you up there? That doesn't help me because that's not... Fine. Fine. I'll... Fine. Fine. I'll do it my... Fine. Fine. I'll do it myself. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, so fine. I'll do it myself. That's how fine it is. It's so very fine. It's so fine. So fine.
fine, so fine, so fine. I'm doing myself. That's how fine that is. See how fine that is. That's so fine. I'll do it myself. That's so fine. Oh, that's fine. Fine. How fine. This is fine. 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 Oh, and did you get stuck there now that you can? Oh, yes, you did. Fine. 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 So very, very fine this is. Isn't it fine? Look at how fine. Have you ever seen anything that's this? Fine. 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 Where's my mouse there? That's fine. That's fine, because all of the, the, the all of this will be cut, right? Right? You're you're not you're not seeing this, right? You're not. This is this this hasn't aired. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, ooh, mm, mm, mm. Ah, accomplishment, I tell you, Muro Ma Ma Maru the Great, after much travel, the party came upon the rumored location of Maru the Great, there a small shack stood nestled in the mountain side, tall trees tried their best to hide the dwelling but were overpowered by a great flashes of blue and orange and purple colored light blasting through their branches before they could so much as knock the old bearded wizard was before them I know why you have come so let us be on our way and with that he loaded a sack onto the cart and climbed abo aboard himself ah yes A firebomb. My beard! You're looking for something? How about some wood smoldering fire flasks, eh? I remember loving this because the the causality and the. Y you'll see. Maybe. Yeah, look at that causality. It's spreading and then it's doing a thing and then. Mm, I, um, mm, I love this. Yes. Ah, mm, yes, the causality. Not that causality. Um, it's cruel, but I like it, so, you know. And then the building falls apart and it's beautiful. Wait, can you actually tip this over? Wait, can you can you can you tip this over? Yes, you can. I've always sort of flung it above and done it that way, but that works as well, it seems. A lot of stone. Yes. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Not that. I want to do it from from the above. Ah, hmm. You know, without shooting it straight across, even though there probably is some sort of antenna thing to catch it. Ah, hmm. Yes. Okay, well, that works the same. Aha, aha. Yes. And there you go, and there, and aha, uh -huh, and boom. And then it just all falls apart. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, yes, the electricity thing. An electric elixir. Only lost a couple assistants getting these eels into the jar. Just let them go on some metal surfaces. Sure. There was a beautiful antenna up there that 
looked like it needs some beautiful shot. Oh, and two shots, so you need to, I guess, burn this. So you need to, I guess, burn this before. And then use the electrics to... Hmm, eels to hit that. Which I of course didn't, because why would I have? Can I use this to just... Nope. There you go. Ah, yes. Down. That's not down. Ah, uh, yes. That's not down. Ah, uh, yes. Down. Oh. Can you hit this so that it falls over? Oh, I can't use that to make it fall over. Can I use a log? And then use that. If I can hit it. There you go. Mm -hmm. An ice bomb. Shatter, smash and repeat! So it makes the the stuff sweet, so that then you can like I don't know bomb them, not them. Ooh. Iron Temple. Wouldn't Iron Temple mean it could be electrocuted? Hmm? Yes, there. And then I don't know steel. Ah, yes. Also, oh, these soldiers, they <laughs> look like... What just happened? Did I kill them by flicking my mouse? Because I'm sorry if that's the case. But... Yeah, the soldiers look like they have Finnish flags on their shields and their garments. Though it might be... Something else, but as a Finn, that's what comes to mind. Because it's blue and white cross-shaped objects. But no. Okay. Thick walls. Well, guess what else is thick? These these metal projectiles. Ah, yes, and the last area with the acid. A vial of acid. As it seeps downward, it's destroying everything in its path. Don't ask me where I got it. I would like to ask. I suppose I should hit the antenna, yes. I can try. I'm so I can try. That's nicely designed. Oh, but that's not everyone. That's not everyone. Can I... Ooh. That might be enough. Or then you just might, might descend gracefully. Okay. Ah, yes. Shout it to the rooftops. 
Mm, the not that rooftops, the other. But let's see what happens. Let's see if this is enough. Nope. The next rooftops, the big rooftops. Not that big. I feel like. Yeah, not that big. No. No. The next. Ah. That should be it. That's the strong king if they have a, a a roof fall on them. And the, at that point their problem is the acid on the roof and not the roof falling on them. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's enough. But we'll see. If the cataclysmic collapsing of the court is sufficient. How are you not smushed? That's a strong queen as well. <laughs> ah, yes. I don't know what happened. I tried to press it, but I missed so many times. What was the thing here? Is it that is 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 that it? Is this that? Is is that it? This. That's a strong spearman. Tons of stone on them and their stone face. Again! Again! Um. What is that one soldier made of? A stone on the head, whatever. There you go. It was the roof. That probably weighs much less than the stone that was collapsing before, but you know, to each their pitch. Now they should hopefully, hopefully, be quite a clear case of Or not, or you know, or not, that's also the thing that maybe not. Mm, please work, please do the thing, please do the doodly. Ooh, or tip them over, that's... So it seems like, wait, it seems like mass has no effect on them, it's just the pointy bits that can do any harm. And... this... Um, <laughs> not there. Okay. So now there still might be something that can do the job. Yes. The land of Crustane lay in ruins. King Blush was said to have fled shortly before its fall. The king of Redmonia was pleased with the efforts of his new his men, granting Halgrim, Cormin, and the great Merrill large portions of Crustania to rule over. As an additional gift to the siege master, the king ordered a special prototype to be created by Cormin. A mechanical machine of m mashing might the world had not seen, and for his crushing effort, he was also given a new form of magic from Merle, said to be able to warp the very fabric of space. Now this, 
was one of my favorite weapons. Always after completing the game, you get this um, thing that I'll show you, but let's, you know, do this for example. Oh yes, this, but this, this um, was my favorite. A black hole thing. And then when it's done, after it's grown, it does a whoosh. So that's pretty much one shot on any castle. And what I like liked to do with this is stack them. Now there's many black holes. And they'll keep growing and then exploding, but then the others suck it back in and they keep growing and exploding, but then the others suck it back in, but then they keep going and exploding and they suck it, suck it in, and the, the last one explode and everything fly. It's a fun. I might have to now just do all the achievements, I'm sorry. But you don't have to see all this, so I'll just speed. There you go. Uh, a remote bomb without detonating it. Okay, so one of these open ones, I guess. Let's try to... Is that not it? Okay, so I need to... How does that not count? Well, now it did, okay. What else? A hundred barrels. Where do we have a lot of barrels? Not here. There's a few. Oh, there's a lot of barrels. So if I can whack this over. Oh wait, I can just bo bo bomb the barrels, right? I just... Oh, that's... Okay. That's some barrels. There you go. Finally.
There we go. There we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot about the castle builder. How did I forget about it? It was amazing. I remember I probably... Yeah, I did build stuff and I had fun with them. Hmm. This seems brutal. That seemed brutal. So you can do that, apparently. Oh, that's a lot of destruction. I thought he would have thrown the 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 them graves forward. That's effective. But so is this. Let's see if if there are any shared castles for playing. It doesn't seem like I have the option to do that. But other than that, Achievements achieved. That was a fun trip back memory lane because I'm a very nostalgic person and enjoy the feeling and the memories. Um, from, from back when things were a lot simpler. Things were a lot simpler and my greatest worries were school. <sighs> Not everything that's going on right now. And the sort of joy these browser games, simple browser games can bring. They don't have to be AAA games to have an impact. To be fun to, I don't know. This has just left a mark on me because it was one of the few games I was able to play as a child in elementary school. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Thank you for being. Thank you for watching. And let's spread some love today.